everyone. So today I will be discussing box measurements. Box measurements are the measurements that you will supply your lab with whenever you order a pair of surface lenses, whether it's single vision, bifocal or multifocal. So your box measurements will make sure that you receive the thinnest lens as possible and it will also make sure that your lens diameter is big enough for the frame that you want to use. And it cuts out all unwanted lens material. So it's very important that your box measurements are accurate. So let's have a look at how we measure box measurements. Okay, I'm going to show you this graph. This is two lenses without the frame. If you take a ruler and you place it in a vertical direction and you move your ruler from the left to the right, then over here where it touches the lens for the very first time, will be your first vertical line that you're going to draw for your box. Now you take that ruler across and over here where it touches the lens for the very last time will be the other vertical line that you're going to draw for your box. The same with your horizontal lines. If you put your ruler in a horizontal position and you move it from the bottom upwards over here where it touches the lens for the very first time you're going to draw your bottom horizontal line and you're going to move it up 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 and over here where it touches the lens for the very last time will be your upper horizontal line so what you're going to get is a box around your right lens and a box around your left lens so your a size will be your horizontal width of that box. Your B size will be your vertical width or height of that box. Your DBL will be the distance between the two boxes. Now be very careful with the DBL or the D measurement. The D measurement is not taken between the two lenses at eye point or where the nose bridge of the frame is. It is the distance between the two lenses where the lenses are the closest to each other. So this is this sounds very easy if you look at it from a graph perspective but if you have a frame in front of you practically it's not always that easy to make accurate measurements to take accurate measurements so i'm going to show you another picture to make this a bit more practical this is a this is a, a plastic or acetate frame so it's a thick frame which makes it a bit more difficult and also it's a cat eye so let's have a look at boxing measurements on this frame so again if you take your ruler you place it in a vertical direction and you move it across you will see that it touches the lens for the first time right there in the corner not the frame but the lens you're going to sweep it over till you get to the part where it touches the lens for the last time and that's over there the same with your top line horizontal line and your bottom horizontal line so you will see that your box is around the lens and not around the frame and also i want you to take into account your dbl look at where it is measured it is measured where the two lenses are the closest to each other because that will be exactly the same measurement as the distance between the two boxes the box from your right eye and one from your left eye the distance between those two i hope this uh, tutorial helps you with your box measurements so that they are accurate um, and so that you can get the best possible results for your patients enjoy your day